Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece, and today I just have some short important news regarding the manga, as Etchiro Oda has posted an intriguing message, which was roughly translated on Twitter by Sandman. Or at the very least, it gives us the, uh, the general gist of the message, which is... Today's message from Oda. One Piece chapter breaks will increase so that me and my staffs don't get infected by the virus. Not that my current health isn't good. I'm drawing One Piece every day as usual. So disregarding the fact that the plural of staff is in fact also staff, this is both good and bad news for a wide variety of reasons. It's good because this development is nowhere near as bad as what is currently happening with the anime, which has no real new developments. It's still delayed indefinitely, unfortunately. And of course it's bad news because this means that One Piece is likely to be put on a schedule never seen before by manga fans. And I mean, mate, there are so many people out there who complain at great length, as it is that Oda takes far too many breaks, which I will never understand, because this guy is legit the hardest working man in the history of manga. But people will be people, I suppose. In any case, if they thought that a single break every three to four weeks was bad, then I cannot even imagine their reaction to this. But that said, this is ultimately good news. It shows that Oda is taking precautions, and that what is being prioritized is keeping the One Piece manga running regularly in the long term. And obviously it's also good news that Oda himself is in good health, which is paramount. So yeah, this video is just designed to get the word out there about this and to say to be prepared for more frequent manga breaks. And might I just say when I made my video about the anime being delayed, I got an awful lot of comments from manga readers saying that they really didn't care because well, they still had the manga. And look, just, just be careful with that train of thought, because we're on some pretty thin ice here. All it would really take is one case around Oda or the Weekly Shonen Jump officers, and that could put us in the exact same situation as the anime is currently facing. So in essence, don't be a prick to anime watchers, because you never know, we could be facing a very similar situation. Thankfully, not right now though. I also find it very encouraging that Oda is still drawing, I imagine furiously during this time, which is exactly what I would expect of him. His lifestyle is pure 100% insanity, and I honestly I honestly don't think he would know what to do with his time if he wasn't drawing. So if anything, this might even allow Oda to get a bit of a backlog of manuscripts going, which doesn't really affect us at all, but it might allow this guy to take life just a little bit easier for a change. Of course, it's also very interesting that this particular world event just so happens to fall in the Wano arc, which is greatly anticipated to be the longest in all of One Piece. I really didn't expect it to end this year before the whole pandemic thing happened, and I certainly do not expect it to end this year now. Unless, of course, Oda decides to somewhat abridge his ideas, but I highly doubt that 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 will happen. So all I can really say right now is let us continue to enjoy the ride. One Piece chapters have the advantage of being very meaty experiences, so no matter how many breaks come to assault us, I'm sure that we will all be fine. But what do you guys think? Please do leave your thoughts in the comments below or even join my Discord server. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please do go and check out some of my other content or even subscribe to the channel for more glorious One Piece business uploaded straight into your YouTube feeds. But for now, this has been the Crown Line Review and I'll see you next time.